A comedian tells a joke about Latinos at Trump's massive mother of all MAGA rallies at Madison Square Garden, and the left has completely lost their minds over it. Desperation, MSNBC Chiron compares Trump's New York event to Nazi rally, while DNC projects Trump praised Hitler outside on the building of Madison Square Garden. A lot of controversy at Trump's massive Madison Square Garden rally in New York City. And of course, the mainstream media has to slander it and attack it. Look at the Chiron here as they covered the event live on MSNBC. Trump's Madison Square Garden rally comes 85 years after pro-Nazi rally at famed arena. Meanwhile, the DNC projected the words, Trump praised Hitler outside of the event. Not only that, many on the left and some on the right that quite don't understand comedy, they're humorless if you ask me, were triggered by famous comedian Tony Hinchcliffe's jokes about Latinos and Puerto Ricans. I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. It's wild. And these Latinos, they love making babies, too. Just know that. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. They come inside, just like they did to our country. <laughs> Republicans are the party with a good sense of humor. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay, all right, <laughs> okay, we're getting there. And of course, as predicted, Geraldo Rivera, the woke Latinos all over the mainstream media were triggered because they don't understand humor. A floating island of garbage referring to Puerto Rico, poisoning the blood of our nation. We have murder in our genes. F these racists, Latino men of goodwill. Have pride in yourselves and your ancestors. A vote for Trump is a vote against self-respect. Right, right. But you have George Lopez at a Kamala Harris rally making similar jokes, but it's okay when he does it, right? Donald Trump said he was gonna build a wall. And George Lopez said, you better build it in one day because if you leave that material out there overnight, Yeah, it's called comedy. It's funny. It's a joke. And I think leftists and right-wingers alike that are offended by this clearly don't understand comedy. And as an American Latino myself, I'll speak for myself. I'm not triggered by any of this. And I'm not the only American Latino that will tell you that. Listen to Puerto Ricans themselves that heard the joke live. Time for the garden. The rally, the rally was great. Puerto Ricans for Trump. Trump 2024. Yo, yo, now that I got my fellow Puerto Ricans, Facts. obviously what happened there tonight, everybody's talking Beautiful. about it. Beautiful, Every, epic. But the, the, the Puerto Rican joke, that, oh, the garbage island stuff. Do you guys even give a fuck about no, that? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't even pay a mind. I don't even pay attention to that. No, I don't. Puerto Ricans for Trump. Lock in. Stay locked. I stay locked in on the goat. Y'all already know, my boy. Uh. Told you. Spare us the emotional outrage, please. Well, speaking of emotional outrage, the mainstream media cannot comprehend comedy at all, and it shows. Take a look. Uh, I think a lot of people are seeing that rally at Madison Square Garden, seeing all those people. Doesn't mean he's going to win the race, but my point is it's discouraging that so many people would gather and rally to hate, to hate speech in America, that it's discouraging and it hurts that people who have family in Puerto Rico, who are Puerto Rican Americans, who are American citizens are hearing hate like that. It, it's discouraging, Joe. And I, yeah. I do want to show um, Michelle Obama and Kalamazoo, but I, I just think it's important to look at the situation and it's not just oh my gosh about the race it's oh my gosh how did we get here how did we get well, here course. where a stadium right. of people come to hate that's well a different country a different time don't you just love the woke white liberals 
always speaking on your behalf. Yeah, I'm sick of it. Well, of course, they're going to roll out their token Latina to speak on the matter. Right now, the campaign is scrambling and they're trying to blame this rhetoric on a so-called comedian. This is not a comedian. This is the Trump campaign. These are they invited this rhetoric on their stage for a reason. It was a chorus of speakers on that campaign for a reason. This is what it is. It's fake outrage. It's fake outrage and it's meant to manipulate, emotionally manipulate voters and minorities because they're desperate and they have absolutely nothing just days before the election. Well, not just the token Latina. They bring out the token black guy, the race hustler himself, Al Sharpton, to comment on the matter. But let's also go to what Donald Trump himself said last night, that some of the uh, black men groups that I've been debating about why they can't be with uh, Trump, he said, yeah. I could be laying out in the beach with my white, white skin getting tanned. I mean, this is Donald Trump's mouth right. saying this. So I, I, I said to, uh, to those on the fence, this is not a real racial signal. My pretty, white, beautiful, white, white skin. Yeah. Donald Trump said this last night at his homecoming. So when people said that this was like reminiscent of the supremacist rally in 1939, the Nazis, I think that it uh, lived up to that. Yeah. Yeah. So because Donald Trump said that he could be at a resort tanning his white skin, that makes him Hitler. That's where we're at. I mean, look how desperate the left truly is. Far left pro Kamala Harris groups air pro pornography ad featuring a young man performing a vulgar act and social media replies are brutal. News emerged that a vulgar ad by two far left groups, Progress Action Fund and Defend the Vote, the groups have so far spent $2.5 million running the ads in multiple swing states. The ad in question opens with a young man pleasuring himself. Yes, he's masturbating to pornography. When a Republican congressman suddenly appears on screen. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh! Sorry, you can't do that. What the hell, man? How'd you get in here? I'm your Republican congressman. Now that we're in charge, we're banning born nationwide. You can't tell me what to do. Get out of my bedroom, you creep. I won the last election, so it's my decision. I'm just going to watch and make sure you don't finish illegally. Is it me or did that sound a little more like Tampon Tim? Let me know in the comments below. But listen, we are days out. And one could argue having that comedian at Trump's Madison Square Garden rally, was that really the right timing? There's a time and a place for everything just days out before an election. Do you want to give the left more ammo to destroy your campaign potentially? That's an argument. But at the same time, I think this is a testament to how ridiculously absolutely weak our nation has become. We can't even take jokes anymore. We can't even handle humor anymore. We can't handle anything that is meant to be funny. Well, one thing I'll tell you is that in their desperation, all they have are lies. All they have is slander. All they have is emotional manipulation. All they have is what they've been doing for the past nearly 10 years against Trump, against you, against me. And it's led to this, this massive movement, the great awakening that is totally fed up and done with their lies. My name is Drew Hernandez with the Gateway Pundit, and you have been on watch with Drew Hernandez. I'll see you guys on the next one.